Breakfast burrito last week. There was a group down here last week in the park. Did anybody participate in that? Buenos dias, everybody. Hey, can I have your attention, please? Hola, nos da su atención, por favor. Gracias. Um, first of all, I love you guys. Los queremos mucho y gracias por venir. I'm glad that you're here today. Estamos muy agradecidos por venir hoy. I want to share one verse with you. Él le va a dar, le va a leer un, un verso From the Bible. de la Biblia. But before I do that, antes que lo hace, I look at all these people up here. Por favor, vea a esta gente que nos ayudó hoy. Um, I want to, I want to introduce them to you, and I want you to, after I'm finished, to please welcome them. But there's two different groups, actually three. There's Shepherd of the Hills. Can you guys from Shepherd of the Hills Life Group, can you raise your hand? And then there's also Life Stream Church. Livestream Church, can you raise your hand? And then representing from CCTO, come on, give it up. Where are you guys at? Okay, so that's, that's three separate groups that have come in here to just love on you guys. Can we welcome them, please? Yeah. We've been at it since three this morning. 
Wow. I'm, wow. I'm kidding. I just <laughs> said you. <laughs> I know. Well, we've been at it since six this morning. And um, listen, this is not something where we go, um, and I'm going too fast. This, this is not something where we go, look at us, but we're very glad to do this. So I'm going to go slow so he can interpret. Um, just stop me and go, you're going too fast. So we're going to go now, and I need you on this one, okay? okay. So I'm going to share scripture with you. Okay, so anytime that you guys are here, and in the morning, maybe you don't believe in God. And maybe you don't believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. And maybe you think that people that do this are a little bit crazy and whacked out. You know, Jesus freaks. Somos muy, uh, apasionados weak, por people, la weak people that need something to make them feel good about themselves. But they're harmless. The Christians are harmless. Pero somos de buena voluntad. I want you to know this. Queremos que sabes esto. That Jesus Christ is real. Que es verdad. That his son, that, that his father in heaven is real. Que su padre Dios es también and that he verdad. gives life. Y nos da vida. And he gives life more than you can possibly imagine. So if I was to ask you this one question, si les puedo este es pregunta, who wants to find life in this room? La vida, por favor? Who wants to have la mano. who wants to have life better than you've ever known it in this room? Tener la vida más mejor the, que ha nunca <laughs> Sorry. the Bible tells us how to do that. And I'm going to share one verse with how, how we do that. Listen to this verse. And then I'm finished. In the Old Testament, in the Bible, in, um, in the beginning of the Bible, the beginning of the Bible. Can you say beginning? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it says this in Proverbs. It says this. Check this out. And then I'm done. That's total. It says, he who pursues righteousness, purity, goodness. He who looks after righteousness or okay. purity, goodness. And what, what verse is that? This is Proverbs 21, 21. You want to read the whole thing? I got a Spanish translation. Okay, can I read the whole thing and then yeah. you help me out? Yeah, I don't want to put you on. Okay, no, that's okay. And you're doing great. I, I love you being up here. Okay, he who pursues righteousness and loyalty finds Life, that's what we asked about. That's what we raised our hand about. He finds life. I'm going to say it again. He or she finds life, righteousness, and honor. And in Spanish it says what? Proverbs 21, 21? Yes. Say it in Espanol for me, please. Sure, no problem. Thanks, guys. Um, when you are part of a family, you're part of a group, there's loyalty. Cuando están parte de un grupo, hay siempre hay lealtad. My family is very loyal to me. My brothers and sisters love me. Mi familia tiene mucha lealtad conmigo y me aman mucho y yo los tal como los amo ellos. There's nothing that they would not do for me. No hay nada que ellos no hagan por mí. Everybody wants honor in their life. Todos queremos honrar. Everybody wants to be looked at and say, I honor this person. I love this person. Todos queremos ver a la gente con honra, con respeto. It's very hard to live a righteous life. Es a dura, good life. Es dura vivir una vida buena, pura con, con todo en el camino de Dios. But God says this, and I'm finishing up. If you seek, el Dios nos diga que si usted vaya y busca righteousness, goodness, la buena voluntad. And loyalty. La lealtad. Loyalty. You're, you're loyal to something. Tienes la lealtad a algo. Then you will find vida. life. Y ahí lo vas a encontrar la vida. You will find righteousness. Goodness. <laughs> la, la buena goodness. Voluntad. And you will find honor. Y la honra. So when we're looking through this day, I want you guys to remember that you can find life. But seek God first. Would you do that for me? Would you seek God first? Mm. Si vayan a buscar a Dios. Ahí van a encontrar la vida que desean. Everybody that raised their hand, hopefully you will seek God first. Listen, if you don't know how to do that, si no saben 
la manera de encontrar a Dios. Then come find me. Ven a buscar a él. We'll read the Bible. We'll we'll talk about how to do it. Y van a encontrar un plan find para some ir of these a, guys here. Un camino para ir a través de Who know Jesus a and ask them. Pídenos a nosotros también. Estamos acá por usted. What Tenemos was Jonathan talking about? I want to live that way. ¿Qué estaba hablando? Jonathan. Jonathan. Juanito. Juanito. <laughs> Juanito. Juanito. En, uh, en su camino hacia eso. Okay, so the, mm. we're finished. I, I'm glad you guys listened. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I have just two more minutes. I want to introduce uh, Paul uh, from Shepherd of the Hills. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul. Paul. Um, okay. I just um, right. want to let you guys know that we've been praying for today. Um, we've been praying for for um, the opportunity to come and serve you guys, um, just to, to get ready for today. And um, I just want to thank you guys. We're, we're here to serve you, but we feel so blessed to do it. So I just want to let all you guys know that, I mean, if you want an extra plate of food, let us know. If you want us to grab you a coffee, let us serve you. And um, if you want to talk to us, if you want prayer, I mean, I would love to do that. Um, like Johnny said, you know, ask John, me, you know, talk to, to any of these guys here. and. Um, you know, we'll talk with you, we'll pray with you, anything. Um, just want to say, I don't know any of you guys personally, except for Charles. I just got to rap it with him a little while ago. But um, I love you guys, and um, thank you for letting us be here today. Thank you, Paul. Abe, would you come up? And just, uh, Abe, Abe is going to pray over our meal. Um, Good morning, everybody. You guys hungry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. That doesn't tell me I yes, want to serve sir. you food. You guys hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two things I want to share with you. Uh, one, I want to remind you that the, the hunger pains that you feel are hunger pains that most of us wake up with in the morning. Amen? Amen. The hunger pains that we feel, what if I told you that that hunger pain that you feel is actually something that God has put inside of you to remind you that we all need to be dependent upon Him because the same God who gives us this hunger pain is the same God who provides the means by which to get rid of the hunger pain. Does that make sense? Amen. So I'm going to pray for this meal. And uh, we want to all acknowledge um, the fact that God utilizes both men and women of all ages to bless us with a meal like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for the meal. And then my sister Sandra over here is going to pray in Spanish after I'm done. Cool? Amen. I love cool. That. Father God, um, Lord, I'm just reminded this morning uh, of what it's like to feast at your table. And uh, Lord God, we love you so much and we're so thankful that you allow us to partake in your kingdom. And so Father, there have been so many uh, people working diligently in the kitchen. Uh, Lord, you have provided resources. You have provided the hands and feet. Um, you have provided the love. All we're doing is being obedient to you, Jesus. And so this morning I ask that you would bless this meal, that it would be nourishing to my brothers and sisters' bodies. Lord, that we would acknowledge that the hunger pains that we have come from you. And it is you, Lord God, who's going to remove that hunger pain within the next 10 to 15 minutes, Lord God. And for that, we give you thanks. Bless this meal. We ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.